Hello, class of 2020. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of um, instruction on now that you guys have finished and submitted your outlines, um, what you do next, what's the next step for writing this essay. So first of all, um, at least for my classes, I have graded and made comments and feedback on all of the outlines that were turned in um, as of Sunday. So hopefully, um, you have checked out those comments to see where you may need to um, make some changes. I bet you probably can't see this very well, but this is the prompt that is posted in Google Classroom. And so I just kind of wanted to go over with you guys what the task is, um, even though you should already know this because you did the outline. But um, here's our little prompt up here that refers to the ways we lie, which is the text that we read in the um, purple packet. And basically it says, um, that the author challenges the assumption that in some cases the truth could cause more harm than a lie. So looking at our lying, is lying ever justified or is it always just bad? Um, and so your task is to write an argumentative essay in which you evaluate whether or not Christopher's father was justified in lying to his son in the novel. Okay, we should already know that. Um, and then there were some questions here and some kind of points that we want you to touch on. A couple things, um, first of all, that I noticed in your outline, you need to make sure you mention the author and the title in your introduction, and you also need to make sure you have a solid thesis statement, something like Christopher's father was justified, or Christopher's father was not justified in lying to his son. You've gotta be really, really specific. Um, another thing that you'll notice it says here is you must use six to eight pieces of textual evidence um, you do need to use both of the sources. So a lot of you guys only had sources from the novel, which is great, but we want you to use at least one quote of those six to eight from the purple packet. So um, you might need to add that into the introduction, to the conclusion, find a spot where you could fit in another quote, okay? Um, in addition to posting this again, on Google Classroom, we created for you um, a sample of what the essay would look like. Um, obviously, you cannot copy ours and turn it in, but we wanted you to be able to see it, so it's a view-only file. And um, again, I know that you probably can't really see what's up on the screen very well, but um, we have an MLA format. Okay, so you have your student name and, and number up here. We have our title, um, we have our textual evidence, title of the book, author, and as you go through, um, you'll see we have underlined some things. Um, our topic sentences need to directly refer to um, whichever side of the issue you're taking. So if you say Christopher's father was not justified in lying to him, then your topic sentence for the first body paragraph and for the second body paragraph should say something like, Christopher's father was not justified in lying to him because, and it doesn't have to be that boring, but you need to refer it back to your thesis. Your whole paper should be supporting your thesis, okay? So you'll see an example of that. We've underlined our reasons and then textual evidence we've made obvious. Don't forget, you have to have a parenthetical citation. It is not done correctly if you don't have the author's last name and the page number, or in the case of the article, the paragraph number. Um, here's our second page. <laughs> And so you can just kind of look through it. Here's, okay, so ours is only two pages long. We're obviously hoping for yours to be um, a little bit longer for your reasons to be a little more in depth. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you on this document is we did also create what the works cited should look like. Okay, and this just in, <laughs> we use the same sources you did, so your works cited should literally look just like this. If you chose to use something else, then you would have it added in here. Okay, um, one other thing I wanted to touch on was the counter argument section. And that is when you begin the counter argument, you are addressing what the opposite side of the issue believes. But then you're supposed to refute it, which means disprove. Like if you wrote that, that um, Christopher's father was not justified in lying to him, you're going to tell me why people would say he was justified. But then you're gonna go back and you're gonna disprove and prove that your opinion, what you said in your thesis, is more right than what the other side thinks, okay? So the counter argument is acknowledging that other people might disagree, 
but then you need to go back and make a stronger case for your original opinion that you gave in your thesis, okay? So you have a skeleton of an essay if you um, did your outline, and what you need to do is take that. Um, some of you wrote full, complete sentences and paragraphs, so you might need to add some transition sentences here and there. Some of you guys just have little points, and you're going to need to expand upon those, all right? Um, we are posting this, um, by the time you guys get this, it'll be in there probably Monday morning at about 8 a.m. And it is going to be due Wednesday night at 11.59. Um, and that's pretty much going to be most of what you do for the week. But what our plan is going to be is on Mondays to post all of your activities for the week so that you know what is expected of you and what your assignments are. And we just really want to encourage you guys that um, this is really weird and there's all of these questions. Um, we've really pared down what we wanted to do with you to things that we feel are really essential. And, um, you know, this is the time where we want you guys to step up to the plate and we want um, to see you doing the work so that we can help you and continue you guys um, helping you grow in your education. And um, please let us know if you have any questions. One other thing I just thought of when I was making this video and um, is that we will also post a copy of your rubric um, so you'll know how you're going to be graded on your essay okay so please let us know if you have any questions and um, you can upload your um, essay when it's done to the link on google classroom hope you guys are doing well hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and we'll talk with you guys soon bye